Good morning, guys. This is another five minutes or less. We've got three putters here in the end of a lineup that are all different profiles, but kind of compete in the same class. So we have the Nexus Zero. We've got XT Halo Invader, very flat profile. And then we have the Animal and Pro plastic. It's kind of domey, kind of shaped like a rhino or a pig, more or less. But yeah, let's crack right into these and see how they fly. All right, let's start off with the Animal. Got like a 200 foot hole, par three. That'd be smooth. Oh, it's fading hard. Super hard fade right away. All right, now this is the Nexus Zero. Super straight, never, never trying to fade. It, right at the very end of its flight, did it get back to a fade angle? Now, here's the Nexus uh, Invader or I guess it's XT. And then that one has like a slight gentle drift to the right all through its flight. All right, let's see if we can uh, capture the flight of these things a little bit more detail. So this is in a very short, this is a very short shot, barely 200 and something feet. So we're gonna start off with the animal again, pro plastic. Wow, look at it just pulling left. Lots of fade right away. All right, so we're gonna go into the Nexus Zero. We're gonna to try to keep the same swing speed. Look how much straighter the Zero is at that speed than that animal. And then here we go. We have Halo XT Invader. Same speed, same swing. Look at it get to the nose down part right away. Comes up a little short. All right, guys, these are my impressions so far. So for you lower arm speed people, this might be the perfect trio. So you have your fade with the animal. You have your dead straight longest thrower. You have the zero. And then for anything that needs to be nose down or, or hold right or turn over, you have the invader. Okay, on this test, we're not gonna be smooth. We're not gonna try to kind of be gentle. We're sort of just gonna throw harder at that basket line and see what, how these just react. Wow, still nothing. That animal is not <laughs> given up on that fade. So we got the zero, much straighter. Come on, Ace, Ace, right off the tree in front of it. And then here's the invader. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even start to keep a straight face after I thought. I thought I aced it and it just squared the tree. All right, we've done some throws. Let's see how they feel for putting. So we got the animal right here. It's okay. Yeah, it feels all right in the hand. Of course, I missed that. Okay. <laughs> I've been missing putts for the last day on camera. Yeah, so what do I like? I mean, obviously the animal's way too domey. Um, I, don't, I don't particularly like the way it feels for my putting grip, the zero. This this feels pretty good actually. I don't I don't mind the zero. It has like a nice pop out of the hand. And then we have the invader. Not not as good as the zero. I think out of these three, I prefer the zero for putting. All right, I got one more test for this animal. All right, let's get into this. Let's see how the animal reacts. One force to over. Oh wow, it's starting to pull right out of that. So it is like a little kind of a demon, a little fighter. I got a zero. Once you throw it pretty hard, it just holds right. And then the invader, I'm assuming, will just turn over a lot more than that. Yeah, now I'm just diving right. All right, guys, final thoughts. I think these three discs make great options for lower arm speed players. I mean, even, even me throwing them at like medium speed, they, they held up pretty well. So check them out, and thanks for tuning in to my five minutes or less. See you next time.